Alright guys, this is MTB Swifty, and this is the second episode of my AFC Wimbledon Manager Mode career. Sorry about the first commentary, there was something up with my microphone, but I should have fixed it now, and it should be working fine. Anyway, Jamie Stewart came before the first game of the season, saying he weren't, weren't great pre-season, but he'll play. So the first game was against Northampton, and I changed it back to world class, because Legendary was a bit, a bit boring and a bit hard. So it was Northampton Town versus AFC Wimbledon. First action came in the 7th, 8th minute, where Midson went on a bit of a run by himself and put it, ooh, just onto the post. I was a bit unlucky there. I thought, I thought it had gone in. 18th minute, Adamino just surged forward, and I thought this was a great run. A great shot, but a good save by the keeper. Needed to be, because that was a good shot. Bush picked up a free kick, and I've never scored a free kick on FIFA 12, I'll be honest. So I do my usual, just lay it off. And actually it worked out quite well because Dijali smashed it, keeper saved it and I don't really know how I scored this but yeah Wellard just sneaks it into the bottom corner and went on a bit of a good celebration. So I was I was quite surprised when I scored I have to admit, I mean it wasn't, it was, it was a very tight angle and how I even won the ball off the defender because I thought the defender would just clear it and then just placed it under the keeper. Defender nearly cleared it, but there you go. 44th minute, they came forward with Richards, who just ambled past all my defence, and sweaty goal to Akin Fenwa. But he couldn't really shoot from that angle, and Akin Fenwa was in the right place at the right time, with a good finish past my keeper. So 1-1 at half-time. As you can see, I absolutely dominated the first half. They had one shot, one on target, one goal, and then Akin Fenwa just walked through, but Brown, the keeper, came out and saved well, which I was quite thankful of. Akin Femmer again onto Richards and McNaughton. Perfectly tackled. Yep, but of course, it was a penalty. And not only that, McNaughton got sent off. I could not believe it. I was I was so annoyed. I was like, oh, oh perfectly tackled him as well, as you will see by the replay. It won the ball, got it away, but apparently not, according to the referee. A bit ridiculous, but there you go. Akin Fen was stepped up and smashed it down the middle. I thought he, I thought about going down the middle, but decided against it. And Akin Fen will run off, celebrated. Nevertheless, that's how it finished. I did have a lot of chances, as you can see, 13 shots to their three, but just couldn't get past it. So moving on, uh, Rochdale of League One in the League Cup. Now I had to change basically all my team because they were knackered and. Played in the daytime, which was a bit odd. But Grimes walked through my defence and put it past the keeper. But in the 32nd minute, an, a nice ball there to Moore, I have to admit. He just ran through on goal and just chipped it over the keeper. Don't usually do chips, but keeper came out, offered me the chance. And Luke Moore put it away. Although that was it, that was full time. There wasn't really anything else apart from that. So it goes into extra time. Still in bright dayness, even though it's probably about 10 o'clock at night. And Nathan Eccleston... Just skills my defence and then puts it away. Blowing hard past the keeper in the 113th minute. So, looks like I'm going out of the League Cup. Not too bad. It, they are a League One team. Although, the 120th minute with literally the last kick of the game, Midson, a great finish. Just smashed it into the top corner. I, I couldn't believe my luck, to be honest. I mean, it, it's not great. I mean, he's only a League Two player. So, to smash it in from there was pretty impressive. But that was full time and extra time. So, moving on to the penalties, which is quite interesting. They stepped up and they scored the first one. I scored. Only just. Then they missed, which gave me the chance to take the lead. Obviously, I didn't take it, put it over the bar, idiotically. And then they went through and scored. So it was still even at this time. But I then hit the bar, and then I don't really know what happened there. I just hit the keeper. So put me behind, and then oh, I thought I'd take that. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, God, so close. But started to get back into it, and... It was getting really tense because they had to miss and oh, if they'd have scored that, that'd have been game over. That were a great save. I had to score and I did, so this took it into sudden death, which was a very interesting penalty. I have to say, but there weren't really any good penalties as such. None, none were, none were wide, none were either down the middle or just past. But this one, I think it's this one. Is it this one? No, it's not. Oh, they had a great penalty. You'll see, you'll see it in a minute. He just smashed it a lot, you know, just passed, passed the keeper, stood no chance. I, I stayed in the middle, as you can see. 
I mean, I was just hoping for the best of that one. That was a great penalty. And I had to score. They always put the pressure on me all the time. And he's, oh. But yeah, I, I kept on going down the middle because I thought, it was, but they miss. So I had the chance to win the game. So Johnson stepped up to be the hero. And, oh, oh well, he missed, basically. So I was like, oh. It seemed to go on forever. And he put it wide. And then obviously he stepped up, my keeper. With actually, I was quite impressed. I thought he'd missed at first, but no, nope, hit the ball and went in. And that was it. I seven six in the end, I think it was on penalties to me. A long penalty suit out, but there you go. Anyway, moving on to the League Two game against Cheltenham Town. Midson took the ball from the throw in and Oh, just over the ball. It was close. It was a good game this half from it. I enjoyed playing this one. Well they walked through in my defence and put it just wide. And then Midson in the 34th minute still kept hold of the ball. I'm not sure how he's kept hold of the ball all that way. Passed to Adamino and oh, just wide again. And then in the 45th minute, Midson was put there on goal, just out strength the player, slowed him down a bit, but smashed it into the top corner. And that put us 1 0 up, so I was quite happy with that goal. And I took it just before half time. It's always a good time to score that, you know, puts puts the team on the back foot and you can Dijal is not even anywhere near someone there. I don't know what's going on. As you can see, the, the defender was holding me back a bit, but nevertheless Midton outstrengthened him and put it away. Now Adamino to Midton, a great run, a great through ball in Adamino stops, turns the defender and puts it into the bottom corner. That was a great finish, I have to say. That was just after half time as well, so two quick goals, two quick goals put me 2 0 up, and I was quite pleased at this point because I needed the three points after losing my first game. However, they did have a chance, it was in the 53rd minute, and the keeper saved, but I just couldn't get it away. Just clearing, tackling, and all sorts, but even got it there and then passed it straight back to them idiotically. And they still came at me, and eventually. Eventually we managed to block it and we got it clear, fortunately, because I was I was starting to get a bit tense at that point. I thought, oh, they're going to break me down at some point. But nevertheless, Jolly had the ball in the 65th minute, smashed it at the keeper, and the keeper pulled off quite a good save, actually. We really managed to get it clear. But that's how it finished. It finished AFC Wimbledon 2, Cheltenham 0. So I got my first three points in the league, which is always nice, in front of the home crowd especially. So moving on to the next game, it was against Crawley Town. The Manchester City of League Two with all the money, so I thought this will this will definitely be a tough game. But in the 30th minute, Moore with a great touch, a great run, and there was only one thing I could do: sweat it out with Midson. I mean, I, I had to. I thought, well, he's never going to score with his left foot, and Midson's free in the box, so I won't show the cut scene because we all know that sweaty goals aren't really the best to watch. But nevertheless, Ozaya Cup came back at me and passed it on to Barnett, who couldn't get the right touch. But nevertheless, from the free kick in the 60th minute, Matt Tubbs, a great player, threw ball, I don't know where my defence went, and Barnett just smashed it into the bottom corner with his left foot, and that was one all, and I was I was a bit annoyed, because I'd been in control of the game, I'd had a few chances, but nothing really worth showing, and then they'd come back with, I wouldn't say lucky goal, but poor defended. Nevertheless, straight away, straight from kickoff, I just got hold of the ball, ran forward, and at this point it had to be a cross in, and it oh, hit the post, and I didn't know I'd scored it. I thought I thought it was offside or something, but yep, <laughs> own goal, which I'll take any day of the week. If he wants to put it in his own net, then that's perfectly fine by me, and that's exactly what he did. He could have cleared it when you look at it in the second replay, but I don't know why he didn't. But nevertheless, Isaiah Cup again. Don't even know how to pronounce his name. Missed and got a goal kick and oh, I got away with this. This was unbelievable. I weren't even thinking. Didn't look and just passed it to him. Somehow, somehow he just put it over the bar. How he put that over the bar, I will never know. So finished Crawley Town one, AFC Wimbledon two. And just before I leave you, I'll show you a quick transfer offer I got from Maxfield Town for Rashid Youssef, 190 grand. I said no because he plays central midfield and he seems to play quite a few games. So thanks a lot and don't forget to like and subscribe.